everyone. The ocean hides many terrifying secrets and sometimes throws surprising finds onto our beaches from huge sea creatures to mysterious artifacts. In this video, we explore the 20 most unusual and intriguing items that have ever washed up on shores, revealing the scary and mysterious nature of the sea. Number one, sea dragon. What began as a routine landscaping measure turned up a historic find in England. In a remarkable discovery within a lagoon in England, the fossilized remains of a creature known as an ichthyosaur or sea dragon were uncovered. This discovery represents the largest and most complete skeleton of its kind ever found on British soil. The ichthyosaur, often likened to modern-day dolphins in appearance, lived millions of years ago during the era of the dinosaurs. This particular specimen, discovered during routine draining and maintenance of the lagoon, provides an unparalleled glimpse into the past. It offered scientists and researchers invaluable insights into the life of these ancient marine reptiles. Ichthyosaurs were apex predators of their time, ruling the Jurassic Seas with their streamlined bodies and fish-like tails, suggesting they were fast and adept swimmers. The discovery of such a well-preserved skeleton allows scientists to study its anatomy in detail, providing clues about its diet, behavior, and how it might have interacted with other marine creatures. It also raises intriguing questions about the ancient ecosystems these creatures inhabited and how changes in these environments may have influenced their evolution and eventual extinction. The significance of finding such a complete specimen is huge. It sheds light on the mysterious life of ichthyosaurs and adds a valuable piece to the puzzle of Earth's prehistoric marine life. Number two, giant driftwood. Behold, the largest piece of driftwood I have ever seen. Weighing over two tons, it is huge. In Washington, people saw just how strong nature and the sea can be when a huge piece of driftwood landed on the beach. This wasn't a small branch or something you could pick up. It was enormous showing everyone the incredible force of the ocean. Driftwood like this comes from trees that fall into rivers or directly into the ocean, then get carried away by the water. Over time, the waves and currents push them onto the shore. This particular piece of driftwood was so big that it caught the attention of everyone who saw it. It's a reminder of how powerful the sea is, capable of moving massive objects over long distances. It also tells us a bit about the journey these pieces of wood take, traveling from forests to the ocean, and then onto our beaches. Finding such a large piece of driftwood is unusual and makes us think about the natural cycles of the earth, like how trees can end up being part of the ocean's landscape. Number three, mysterious rubber blocks. Two years ago when writer Tracy Williams found these rubber tablets washed ashore near her home in the UK. On beaches across Northern Europe, people have been finding rubber blocks with the word chipad written on them. These blocks come from far away, all the way from a plantation in Indonesia it's a bit of a mystery how they ended up so far from home, scattered along the coastlines and confusing the people who find them. These rubber blocks are not something you'd expect to see on a beach. They're pieces of history from the late 19th and early 20th centuries used for various things back then, like making golf balls or telegraph cables. The name Chipad links them to their origin, but how they traveled thousands of miles across the ocean remains a puzzle. Finding these blocks is a mystery that there still is no answer to and remains unsolved. Number four, giant plastic pipes. On the English coastline, a surprising discovery was made. Huge plastic pipes had washed up on the shore. These were not ordinary pieces of debris. They were massive, some even reaching 1,500 feet in length and eight feet in diameter. They came from a construction project and were being transported when they somehow ended up in the sea. The sight of these giant pipes puzzled and amazed locals and visitors alike. Imagine walking on the beach and coming across a pipe so large that it dwarfs everything around it. It's a clear sign of how human activities and nature can collide in unexpected ways. These pipes were meant for a large construction project, showing how materials can travel long distances and the challenges of transporting such massive items. The fact that they ended up on a beach in England, far from their intended destination, shows the unpredictability of the sea and the complexity of human-made projects. Number five, mysterious metal seats. The mysterious monolith discovered in a remote canyon in Utah has disappeared. Uh. On a New Jersey beach, an unusual discovery puzzled the people who saw it. Metal seats, like those you'd find in a subway or train, were scattered across the sand. 
It turns out these seats likely came from a decommissioned subway or train car. What makes this find interesting is that these types of cars are sometimes used to create artificial reefs underwater, providing habitats for marine life and improving ocean health. The appearance of these seats on the beach raises questions about how they got there. One possibility is that they were dislodged from an underwater artificial reef during a strong storm or unusual sea currents ending up washed ashore. This incident shows the interaction between human efforts to enhance marine environments and the powerful, unpredictable nature of the sea. Artificial reefs are important because they help protect shorelines from erosion, support marine biodiversity, and can even become dive sites, boosting local tourism. However, the journey of these metal seats from the bottom of the ocean to a beach in New Jersey serves as a reminder of the sea's capacity to reclaim and redistribute what humans place within it. Number 6. 200-Ton Long Tanker In Liberia, a massive oil tanker weighing 200 tons was found abandoned on the shore, creating a lot of questions and speculation. This wasn't any small boat. It was a giant tanker, the kind used to transport large quantities of oil across oceans. The mystery deepened because no crew members were found on board, and it seemed like the tanker had been left there on purpose. Finding such a large vessel abandoned raises concerns. People wondered why it was left there and what could have happened to the crew. Theories ranged from financial troubles of the ship's owner, leading to the crew being unpaid and abandoning the ship, to more dramatic possibilities like piracy or foul play. The tanker, identified as the Taya One, had traveled from Panama and was last seen in waters far from piracy-prone areas. This added to the intrigue because it suggested that the abandonment wasn't due to a common threat like pirates. Number seven. Murawai Monster. In New Zealand, a curious object washed up on Murawai Beach. Our reporter Ruth Wynne Williams was one of the first there and joins us now from Murawai Beach. Ruth. Sparking wild guesses about what it could be. It looked like a monster from another world, but upon closer inspection, it was actually a piece of driftwood covered in gooseneck barnacles. These barnacles, with their long, flexible necks and shell covered heads, can make any piece of wood look like it's alive. Gooseneck barnacles are sea creatures that attach themselves to hard surfaces like driftwood floating in the ocean. Over time, they can completely cover an object, giving it a bizarre, otherworldly appearance. When the so-called Murawai monster was first discovered, its strange look led to all sorts of speculation. People wondered if it was an alien creature, an unknown sea monster, or something else entirely. This incident shows how the ocean can transform ordinary objects into something mysterious and fascinating. The combination of natural driftwood and barnacle growth created a spectacle that captured the imagination of everyone who saw it. Number 8. Mysterious Witch Bottles Along the shores of the Gulf of Mexico, people have stumbled upon an unusual type of artifact, witch bottles from the 16th and 17th centuries. These aren't your average bottles. Back in those days, they were used as a form of protection against curses and negative energies. The bottles would often contain items like nails, hair, and even urine, believed to ward off evil spirits or reverse harmful spells sent their way. Finding these witch bottles today brings a piece of history to the present, offering a glimpse into the beliefs and practices of people from centuries ago. It's fascinating to think about how these bottles, once hidden away in the walls of homes or buried under thresholds, have made their way to the surface and onto the beaches for us to find. Number 9. Severed Feet On beaches across Canada and the U.S., a grim discovery has been made over the years. We begin tonight with a mystery unfolding on a B.C. beach. A human foot has once again been discovered. More than 14 different human feet still inside shoes have washed ashore. This mysterious phenomenon has puzzled both the public and authorities. The feet, found one at a time, have sparked numerous theories about their origins, ranging from accidents at sea to more sinister activities. However, investigations have shown that these feet come from people who tragically lost their lives, with the sea eventually carrying their remains to the shore. The reason why the feet are found in shoes is because modern footwear, with its buoyant materials, can keep a foot afloat allowing it to be carried great distances by ocean currents. This phenomenon, while unsettling, highlights the ocean's powerful and sometimes mysterious nature. The discovery of these severed feet has led to some cases being solved, providing closure for families who had lost loved ones and wondered about their fates. Number 10. Mysterious Lego Man 
Some kind of a giant Lego man washed up on a beach and nobody really knows where it came from. Imagine walking on a beach in Florida and coming across an eight foot tall Lego man made of fiberglass. This is exactly what happened to beachgoers who found themselves staring at a giant Lego figure standing on the sand. This wasn't a promotional stunt by the toy company, but an art installation by an individual known as Ego Leonard. Ego Leonard is not the name of a person, but rather a pseudonym for an artist, or possibly a group of artists, who chose to communicate messages through the unexpected appearance of giant Lego figures. The Lego man carried a simple message, no real than you are, sparking curiosity and a wide range of interpretations about its meaning. This unusual discovery quickly caught the public's attention, turning the Lego man into a local sensation. It raised questions about consumer culture, identity, and our connection to childhood symbols. Beyond its initial surprise, the Lego Man installation invited people to reflect on larger themes while also enjoying the whimsy of encountering such an unexpected object on a routine day at the beach. Number 11. Football Fish On a California beach, beachgoers stumbled upon a rare find that seemed more suited to a scene from a sci-fi movie than real life. These lights are created by animals. This is bioluminescence. A deep-sea anglerfish flashes in the darkness. A deep-sea anglerfish, commonly known as a football fish due to its shape, had washed ashore, leaving many in awe of its peculiar appearance. This deep-sea dweller is known for its dark, bulbous body and the eerie light it emits from a lure on its head, used to attract prey in the pitch-black depths of the ocean. The football fish is rarely seen by humans, as it lives in environments so deep and dark that sunlight cannot reach. Finding one on a beach is an extraordinary event, offering a glimpse into the mysterious world that thrives beneath the waves, far from human eyes. The fish's appearance, with sharp teeth and a large bioluminescent lure, shows the adaptability and diversity of life forms in our planet's oceans. Number 12. Truck-sized basking shark. In Bremen, along the coastline, local fishermen experienced a surprising discovery when they found a basking shark measuring 26 feet in length that had washed ashore. Despite its intimidating size, similar to that of a truck, this species poses no threat to humans. Basking sharks are known for their gentle nature, primarily feeding on plankton, which they filter out of the water with their wide open mouths while swimming. This particular basking shark caught the attention of both locals and scientists due to its considerable size. Basking sharks are the second largest fish species in the world, following closely behind the whale shark. Despite their large size and imposing appearance, they are known for their docile behavior and are not known to be aggressive towards humans. The appearance of such a large basking shark on the beach offered a rare opportunity for observation and study, providing valuable insights into the life of these majestic sea creatures. Number 13. Ancient Walrus Skull On a beach near Santa Cruz, California, a 13-year-old boy made an extraordinary discovery while exploring. Looks like he's got all of his teeth down there. Uh, one of the tusks was chipped years ago, and it's like natural. He came across a walrus skull, but not just any skull. This one was encased in a boulder and was estimated to be five million years old. What made this find even more remarkable was that it belonged to a species previously unknown to scientists. This ancient walrus skull provided valuable insights into the past helping researchers understand more about the diversity of marine life that once thrived on our planet. The discovery was so significant that the new species was named in honor of the young boy who found it, marking a rare and exciting achievement for someone his age. Number 14, Siamese Twin Whale. In 2015, a truly rare and unusual sight was discovered on a beach. In the Ojo de Libre Lagoon in the Baja California Peninsula, two conjoined gray whale calves were discovered after washing ashore a whale with two heads and two tails, but sharing one body. This phenomenon of Siamese twin whales is extremely rare, making this find both fascinating and heartbreaking. Siamese twins in whales occur in the same way they do in humans due to incomplete division of embryos in the womb. The discovery of this conjoined whale calf offered a unique opportunity for scientists to study such a rare occurrence in marine mammals. Despite the sadness of its demise, the Siamese twin whale provided valuable data on the biological and environmental factors that can lead to the development of conjoined twins in the animal kingdom, including marine life. This incident also brought attention to the wonders and mysteries of oceanic life, highlighting how much there still is to learn about the creatures that inhabit our oceans. Number 15. Mysterious Blue Creature 
but neon blue creature that looks like a tie-dyed is very real, and recently washed up on an Australian beach. On Australian beaches, beachgoers encountered a mysterious blue creature that caught everyone's eye. These creatures looking like something out of a fantasy book were identified as blue bottles, a type of jellyfish. While their vibrant blue color is captivating, they bring more than just beauty to the shore. They cause painful stings to those who touch them. Blue bottles are known for their long, venomous tentacles that can inflict a sting resulting in sharp pain and discomfort. The pain can last for minutes or even hours, serving as a harsh reminder of the encounters with these sea creatures. Despite their small size, the impact they have on humans is significant, turning a day at the beach into an unpleasant experience for those who come into contact with them. These jellyfish-like creatures are driven towards the shore by strong winds and currents, making them more common on certain beaches at specific times of the year. Their presence highlights the diverse and sometimes dangerous marine life that inhabits the ocean, reminding beachgoers to be cautious and aware of their surroundings. Number 16. Live Bomb It's a peaceful setting, and it's only the vigilance of bomb and mine disposal men who've got it that way. In Wales, a family's day out at Barryport Beach took a surprising turn when they stumbled upon what looked like an old bomb. It was a round metal object, partially covered in barnacles, making it look harmless at first glance. Thinking it might be something as harmless as a buoy, they even took photos with it. But the reality was far more serious. It was identified as a U.S. military mine, a relic possibly from a past conflict, and very much still live and dangerous. The discovery of the bomb prompted immediate action, the beach was quickly evacuated to ensure the safety of the public, and a bomb squad was called in to deal with the potential threat. The experts carried out a controlled detonation, safely neutralizing the bomb and preventing any harm. This incident is a reminder of the remnants of war that can still be found in unexpected places, posing risks even years after they've been forgotten. It also highlights the importance of being cautious and reporting suspicious objects rather than approaching or touching them. The family in Wales was fortunate to escape unharmed thanks to the swift response of the authorities. Number 17, giant turtle, rhinoceros leatherback turtle. This magnificent creature preparing, whoops, <laughs> preparing to lay her eggs is the largest of all turtles, a leatherback. Rhinoceros, leatherback turtles, the giants of the turtle family and much larger than average tortoises are facing changes that have caught the attention of wildlife experts and beachgoers alike. These endangered turtles, known for their impressive size and long-distance migrations, have started laying their eggs on busy beaches, a behavior shift that has puzzled many. Recently, they have started washing up on shores too. Traditionally, leatherback turtles prefer secluded beaches to lay their eggs, away from the disturbances of human activity. However, Recent observations suggest that these gentle giants are now nesting on beaches crowded with people, possibly adapting to the changing conditions of their natural habitats. Scientists believe this unusual behavior may be linked to climate change, which is altering the temperature of the sands where they usually nest, affecting the survival rate of their eggs. Conservationists are working to ensure that these turtles can lay their eggs safely, educating the public about how to minimize disturbances and protect the nests. Number 18, St. Augustine Monster. In 1896, a mysterious and large shapeless mass was found on the shores of St. Augustine, Florida, sparking curiosity and debate over its origins. Initially, this find was thought to be the remains of a giant octopus, an explanation that fueled imaginations and discussions among both the public and scientific community. Its appearance was unlike anything seen before, leading to wild speculations about sea monsters and unknown deep-sea creatures. However, as science advanced, further examinations were conducted, leading to a new conclusion. The mass, which had puzzled onlookers and experts alike, was eventually identified as the remains of a whale. This reclassification shed light on the decomposition processes of large marine mammals, which can result in unrecognizable masses due to the breakdown of tissues and the creature's immense size. The St. Augustine monster highlights how the sea can hide secrets and how our understanding of these mysteries can evolve with science. Number 19, Amazon River Monster. In Florida, near the Gulf of Mexico, a surprising discovery was made that caught the attention of both locals and scientists. They found the dead body of an arapaima, 
also known as the Amazon River Monster. This fish is one of the largest freshwater fish in the world, native to the Amazon Basin in South America. Its sudden appearance in Florida raised immediate concerns about invasive species and the impact they can have on local ecosystems. The arapaima can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh as much as 440 pounds, making it a formidable creature in its natural habitat. However, finding one in Florida is out of the ordinary since these fish are not native to North American waters. This incident shows the growing issue of exotic pets being released into the wild, where they can become invasive and disrupt local wildlife and habitats. Invasive species like the arapaima pose a threat to biodiversity by competing with native species for food and habitat, potentially leading to declines or extinctions of local fish and other aquatic organisms. The discovery of the Amazon River Monster in Florida shows the consequences of human actions on nature and the importance of responsible pet ownership and environmental stewardship. Number 20. World War Bombs. Near Southampton Beach, a startling discovery was made that brought the past sharply into the present. The drought-stricken waters of Italy's uh, River Po are running so low that they've revealed a Second World War bomb, as Ikaba Koyi reports. Around 100 unexploded bombs from World War II were found beneath the sea. This alarming find required immediate attention, leading to the involvement of the Navy Bomb Disposal Team. These bombs, remnants of a conflict that ended decades ago, still posed a significant danger to people today. The presence of these unexploded ordinances shows the long-lasting impact of wars on the environment and the safety of civilian areas. Even years after the end of World War II, the munitions laid during the conflict can still threaten lives and property. The bomb disposal team's task was crucial in neutralizing these potential threats, ensuring that the beach and nearby areas remained safe for residents and visitors. The operation to detonate these bombs was conducted with precision and care to minimize any risk of damage or injury. Number 21. Banana Bonanza on Dutch North Sea Islands, locals were surprised to find thousands of unripe bananas scattered along their beaches. This unusual sight wasn't due to natural causes, but the aftermath of a cargo ship accident. The ship, facing rough seas, lost several containers, and one of them, filled with bananas, burst open, spilling its contents into the ocean. The currents then carried these bananas to the shores of the islands, creating a spectacle not commonly associated with the North Sea's coastal landscape. Islanders and visitors alike stumbled upon the sandy shores now dotted with bright yellow fruits, turning the beaches into an impromptu banana buffet. While the bananas were unripe at the time of their unexpected arrival, the incident quickly became a topic of local interest and amusement. Cleanup efforts were organized, but not before the community came together to witness and share in the unexpected bounty delivered right to their doorstep. The banana bonanza on the Dutch North Sea Islands shows the sea's unpredictability and the surprising events that can result from human maritime activities. Number 22. Garfield Phones. On the beaches of Brittany, France, for more than 30 years. For more than 30 years, beach cleaners along a French coast there have been picking up bright orange Garfield the Cat phones. Pieces of Garfield novelty phones have been washing ashore. The origin of these bright orange pieces of plastic featuring the famous cartoon cat puzzled locals and environmentalists. It was discovered that they came from a shipping container that was lost at sea in the 1980s. This container, filled with Garfield phones, somehow opened or broke, releasing its contents into the ocean. The constant appearance of these phone parts on the beach has drawn attention to the issue of marine pollution and the long-lasting impact of plastic waste in our oceans. Despite the whimsical nature of the items involved, the situation shows a more serious environmental concern. The mystery of the Garfield phones was eventually solved when a local farmer remembered seeing the container after a storm years ago. It had been wedged in a secluded sea cave, accessible only at low tide, explaining why pieces continued to appear over the years. This unusual case of marine debris provides a tangible example of how items lost at sea can end up impacting coastal areas for decades, turning a comic icon into an unexpected symbol of environmental awareness. Number 23, Neanderthal footprints. In Spain, an extraordinary discovery was made that offered a unique glimpse into the past. Footprints left by a group of Neanderthals, including children, were discovered. These footprints, preserved for tens of thousands of years, were found embedded in the soft mud of an ancient shoreline. The discovery provides valuable insights into the lives of these early humans, 
showing us where they walked as well as how they lived and interacted with each other. The presence of children's footprints alongside those of adults suggests that Neanderthal families moved and acted together, hinting at their social structures and daily activities. It's possible to imagine them walking along the shore, perhaps searching for food or simply moving from one place to another. The variety in the size of the footprints offers clues to the composition of their groups, indicating that young and old alike were part of these ancient communities. Studying these footprints allows scientists to piece together aspects of Neanderthal behavior such as their movements, group sizes, and even the presence of social bonds within groups. This discovery adds to our understanding of Neanderthal life and also connects us more deeply to our ancient relatives, providing a tangible link to humans who walked the earth long before us. Number 24, Megalodon Tooth. Finally tonight, a nine-year-old Maryland girl's curiosity leads to an amazing discovery 15 million years in the making. Here's CBS's Jan Crawford. In Maryland, a young girl made an exciting discovery that would thrill anyone interested in the ancient world. She found a megalodon tooth measuring about five inches long. This find is significant because of its size and because it belongs to one of the largest and most powerful predators ever to exist in the ocean. It belonged to the legendary megalodon. Megalodons lived millions of years ago and are thought to have grown up to 60 feet in length. Their teeth, which are among the few remains we have of these prehistoric sharks, tell us a lot about their size and diet. A five-inch tooth suggests a very large shark as the size of the tooth correlates with the overall size of the animal. Finding a megalodon tooth is a rare event, especially one of this size, and it offers valuable insights into the life of these ancient creatures. It helps scientists and researchers piece together the puzzle of the Earth's prehistoric marine ecosystem. For the young girl who found it, this tooth is a solid connection to the distant past, a reminder of the fascinating creatures that once roamed our planet. This discovery in Maryland adds to the collection of megalodon teeth found around the world, each contributing to our understanding of these magnificent creatures. It's a find that excites both the scientific community and the imagination of anyone fascinated by the natural world. And for the girl who discovered it, it's a memory she definitely won't forget anytime soon. Number 25, elusive cannibal fish. But here in San Diego, we have had not one, but two rare deep sea fish wash ashore. In Oregon, beachgoers stumbled upon an unusual sight. They saw that lancet fish, deep sea dwellers known for their elongated bodies and fearsome appearance, had washed ashore. These fish, which inhabit the ocean's depths, are rarely seen by humans, making their appearance on the beach a puzzling event. Lancet fish are known for their cannibalistic behavior, often eating their own kind, which adds to their mysterious and somewhat menacing reputation. The presence of these deep sea creatures on the beach raises questions about what might have caused them to leave their dark, cold home far below the surface. Scientists speculate that changes in ocean currents, temperature, or pursuit by predators could be factors that lead lancet fish to end up so far from their usual habitat. Despite their fierce appearance, lancet fish are not a threat to humans. Instead, their unexpected arrival on the shore provides a rare opportunity for research and education. It allows scientists to study these elusive creatures more closely, offering insights into the life that thrives in the depths of the ocean. The washing ashore of lancet fish in Oregon is a reminder of the ocean's vast and unexplored mysteries. It highlights how much there is still to learn about the marine life that exists beyond the reach of sunlight in the deep and hidden parts of our planet's waters. The ocean has many secrets that often get overlooked and other mysteries that we might get to see but never find an answer to. 